Thousands of people kick off the new year by jumping into the water, cold water, for the 116th annual Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge. CBS 2's Charlie Cooper has more tonight. The amateurs and tourists go to Times Square, but real New Yorkers are showing up here on the beach today. It's a New Year's tradition. Nearly 4,000 people, dressed in much less than what the cold weather calls for, waited eagerly to jump into the Atlantic as part of the Coney Island Polar Bear Plunge. Some were first timers. I'm ready to just run in. Others have done it for decades and came with a game plan. Uh, I put Vaseline all over my own body. Okay, then I put suntan lotion because if the sun's out, you feel like it's a summer. With lifeguards and rescue crews around for safety, these thrill seekers were ready to dive in, despite the 40 degree temperatures. No preparation, just go in. It was exhilarating. It was like being reborn. It was a great way to start the new year. I can't feel below my waist. It's like an epidural. I can give birth right now. I went in once, I went in twice, and I'm about to go in a third time. These people say the wet and wild plunge is well worth it as it raises money for local nonprofits, and the goal this year is $80,000. This year we're partnering with the Alliance for Coney Island, and proceeds will go to them, the aquarium, Coney Island USA, the Coney Island History Project, and a number of other smaller nonprofits within the community. We have on to each other, and we went in there and we conquered. Swimmers and organizers agree this was exactly the kind of liquid courage they needed to dive into the new year. In Coney Island, Charlie Cooper, CBS 2 News. Oh, well, the Coney Island Polar Bear Club says it exceeded that $80,000 fundraising goal for this year's plunge today.